my dad introduced me to the internet. He made the first connection at home using the dial-up internet. Using the modem, using the telephone line, which could only reach the speed of up to 56 kbps. But we were so excited during that time connecting through the internet. Browsing through my first website of www.yahoo.com It was my first creation of an email address, an electronic mail. My dad was a very ins influential through my expertise of the internet. He introduced me through the power of internet because way back his business as a supplier then he used to communicate people around the world reaching out manufacturing from different global then before he was using just a fax machine the one that printed out uh, from telephone it converted into digital and into a fax machine so if you have you heard of the fax machine it's the one that on the other side it's a machine that will scan the documents and send it through a telephone line by calling another machine and then regenerating the document on the other end that's how powerful communication was before but but the fax machine was so expensive because each page would take around two to three minutes to generate to the other side so with that fax machine is so expensive then the telecommunication evolved from fax into an email so luckily my dad was accepting the technology he was one of the most influential uh, in my life that he used technology to evolve his business making communication with the other manufacturer around the world much faster and much efficient so he don't need to replicate the document from one end to another end they are just using electronic mail so that's how they communicate for the rest of the world. And through that, uh, when he's not using his internet connection, then I got the chance to use the internet. Before, internet was just for web. Web 1.0, where the documents are posted, published online. And as a user, you just need to read. That's Web 1.0. Before, the, the documents are so limited and it's validated. So every time, uh, most of the uses the internet are the international schools because they have documents they can publish online so that they can spread their studies around the world. So that's the power of the internet. Yep. I remember my first uh, research about biology. My teacher was so amazed about the research that, oh, where did you get this? Because in the history, uh, we only use library, so books, and what do you not publish, and newspapers. So those are the most informational during that time what with the access of the internet then yeah i got to have a latest update on the research and biological breakthroughs that time so not only that uh, that's the knowledge part but we also at the same time the chatting the irc so that's was the chatting so you need to communicate to other people through mirc that's a short 
chatting experience where you enter a room and then yeah everyone like ASL age sex and lang- uh, location so that's the first SMS uh, so short message so ASL AFK away from keyboard BRB be right back so yep that's what that was the first case of the internet uses the web 1.0 so that's my exposure so yep so basically my dad's was the one who introduces me through the use of internet we used to pay around 500 pesos just for a three hour internet and eventually it became more cost effective making it promo that whenever you're dialing from 12 no, 12 a.m up to 5 a.m which is not the peak hours so they you can double your time so through that using the internet wow yeah and the first application was uh, netscape using the netscape browser it was a very famous browser that time netscape <coughs> so yeah netscape and yahoo cnn msn those are the most famous um, internet uses of the web 1.0 so basically that's my experience first hand experience of the internet so my dad was very influential using the technology so thank you dad for that for exposing me of the use of the internet and also uh, he introduces the fax mile or the fax machine yep and eventually the web and we continue to use the internet for educational purposes so those are the first use of my internet that's why i am exposed to web 1.0 and now the web 2.0 okay so for the web 2.0 yep let's make another video about web 2.0 on what are my exposures about that okay so see you around guys stick so yep my learnings about the web 1.0 is that information during that time was very limited and only selected entities are able to publish and upload data on the internet because hosting a web server or document online also needs a maintenance server and also maintenance cost that's why it is very costly during that time to maintain a document online and to up a server okay that's the power of web 1.0 so what are my learnings use the power of the internet to uplift your skills not the internet is not just for entertainment but you make use of the available information the internet has level the ground from the college graduate to the knows how to read and write because if you already know how to read and write then leveraging the power of the internet you can make your skill more marketable and profitable okay so see you around guys and make